Hi, welcome back on uh, this channel. If you're already familiar with uh, our PPP uh, philosophy or process, uh, if you're new, as usual, um, you know, we'll ask you uh, to join us by subscribing. Uh, put your comment, you know, uh, um, like the video and share if this also speak to you or add value to you, right? We are all about value added. So, uh, would like to, in the series of the question I mentioned uh, in one video showing uh, the, the, the con, uh, no, sorry, the pros, okay, or the benefit, okay, of smart contract, uh, we promise that we're going to come up with one that showed the limitation, okay? So today, let's talk about the limitation also, because always it will be the good and the bad, right? So stay tuned. We are So what are the limitations that we have or we can see, okay? Remember, we're not on this channel trying to be expert in uh, financial advisory or trying to uh, uh, bring you because everything is about risk and reward, okay? Everything comes with risk. So you need to do your homework. You need to look for the information and not just take everything that we say here um, as granted, right? Because it's what we know that we're sharing and you have to double check the fact. Okay. So what are the limitations that we see? What are the limitations I personally see that I would like to share with you today? The first one is the difficulty of changing, right? The benefit themselves come with uh, some slight limitation, right? So it's the difficulty of changing because once the deal is sealed, right, is done. So let's say I, um, uh, in our collective pie project, right? I sell a car to uh, to one of uh, the pie uh, community member, right? And then the contract is that as soon as the car is received, checked, done, payment goes out, right? We cannot reverse that, okay? That is already one challenge that we see. There are some loopholes also, right? We know we talk about the automation as one of the value, automation and savings, right? But the same automation is uh, actually uh, blocking the, the concept of uh, good faith, right? Because the algorithm has no emotion. So just trusting or just, you know, we know some mini contracts are happening just by trust, right? That not going to happen here. Now, uh, the third element I can give as a limitation here is the fact that uh, you know, broad contract uh, what are, uh, criterias, right? If the contract is not very specific, smart contracts have some limitation because they're not meant to make judgment. There is no judgment, okay? So not being able to make judgment is actually bringing also some limitation somehow. Are you following me on this, right? So the fourth element I will see here um, as, a, as a limitation will be related to um, the nature of, uh, how will I position it? The, the, the nature of uh, the good and the bad, right? Because by principle, it will be always there, but it shouldn't actually limit us, right? People will always use things to do what they choose to do with them, right? So that also brings some challenges. Okay, in the process of actually working with this uh, uh, this process, okay, with uh, the smart contract, which uh, have been uh, became a buzzword uh, with this crypto cryptocurrency era that we are going through. So please feel free, right? If you see other limitation, you can add them in the comments. Okay, let's just start having some discussion around that. That's why we're building a community. Okay? And remember, we choose as an organization professionally to equip okay, businesses, to equip business owners. So in this process, we know how much money, money is one key element for any business to survive. And we need to be thinking then in the future. That's why we choose on this channel to be able to talk about digital currencies and to talk specifically about the project that we ourselves are part of, that project, that collective project, okay, named Pi Network, named Pi Cryptocurrency. And if this is your first time hearing about it, 
don't feel uh, don't feel behind or uh, don't, don't let the fear keep you behind go for the information do some research and if you feel like you want to join and test you know there are links at the uh, at the bottom of in the description you can join through also those uh, links but please 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 when you join take some time to introduce yourself so that in the chat if you introduce yourself we can you know we can uh, have uh, some discussion and be accountable one for another so the fifth element for the limitation is actually uh, our needs we still need the third parties right let me give you an example the third parties need to work with developers need to work with programmers to be able to put in place okay the algorithm build the conditions okay around the the self executing algorithm right so somehow yes we're working to be able to not depend on third parties but somehow those third parties are needed in the construction okay of the contract because they need to explain to developers how the contract will be. So that will be then the fifth element that I'm going to add as a limitation that I found in this contract uh, digital or uh, smart contract uh, era. Okay. So again, if this is your first time. I will ask again, just don't forget, subscribe, be part of the journey, be part of uh, this whole ecosystem that we're trying to build and let me make it a success. So as usual, uh, as you know, as often, like I said, you know, in this process, we win or we learn. It's all about learning, okay? And if you don't know where you're going, look back from where you came from. That ancient, okay, proverb is the one that we have been inspired with, okay? And then leveraging on it to come up with the tool to find also the principle that are out there to be able to help businesses grow sustainably and scale uh, with scale, uh, scalability okay so i will see you in the next video and thanks thank you very much for being part of the journey